Hey everyone, I am preparing myself to present one of the most beneficial videos to you all. Today's video is about sneaker cleaning and in this DIY, that is do it yourself video, I am going to show you step by step process and help you with tricks that you can use to clean your sneakers at home. So let's go ahead and check this out. What's up guys, my name is Amit Pandey, I'm an entrepreneur and a sneaker editor. I've been studying shoes for the last 15 years now. Welcome to this channel Smart Kicks and this channel is all about shoes. Ideally this video should have been the first one on my channel because there are so many people looking for constant help related to shoe cleaning because it's such a tedious task. I feel I'm the best guy to present this video related to sneaker cleaning because back in 2009 I started a shoe care company by the name of Footstep Professional Shoe Care that is still operative and offers shoe cleaning and restoration services to avid shoe users across India. So during the last 11 years my professional team has revived almost 1.4 lakh pairs of shoes that includes some of the most popular and expensive sneakers as well. In this video, I'm going to share easy to do tricks and step by step process so that it helps you to clean your sneakers at home. And this knowledge which I'm sharing with you is backed by my rich experience in shoe care industry. But before we get into this, I want to make one thing honestly very clear with you all that I'm going to share steps and tricks that can be done at home with minimal expense and minimal efforts within quick time. Please do not expect me to share what professionals or what my team and footstep does because those activities require big setups and machineries as well. So now without any further delay, let's get going. First thing when it comes to taking care of your shoes or sneakers or kicks, whatever you want to call them, make sure that you clean them within two days of them getting dirty. Don't wait too long. The longer the dirt or mud stays on your shoes, it's going to be more difficult for you to remove that. How to clean and what all would you need to clean these sneakers? Coming up in the next section. Well, there are thousands of videos that talk about various cleaners by different companies and they might sometimes ask you to buy some products too. But that should be done only when you don't have any resources around. But just in case you want to clean your shoes very often, here are a few things that you can find within your home or at a nearby store. Grab some cleaning powder or washing powder. Don't go for any washing powder but a good quality one. Thereafter, you will need a liquid cleaner and a softener. Sometimes you get a liquid detergent that has a softener inside like this one. I will tell you the reason why I am suggesting a softener as I clean these sneakers in this video. So that's why stick around and listen to this carefully. Have a good quality soft brush handy when you are cleaning your sneakers. Make sure the bristles are soft enough otherwise they will harm the upper of the shoes. Also if you feel that the shoe upper is very delicate you can use a sponge instead of a brush. The amount of water will depend on how much your shoes are dirty. The more dirty shoes or muddy shoes will require more water and cleaners. Here comes the most important thing and that is a good quality microfiber cloth. I'm using a premium quality microfiber cloth that I've been using for the last 7 months now and I regularly clean my shoes using this. This also means that a good quality microfiber cloth will also be very durable along with being effective. Thereafter you will need a decent shoe perfume or you can also use some Dettol or naphthalene balls. There are some shoe freshener balls also available online but they would be very expensive. Since this is a personal choice, I leave it up to you guys to choose what kind of shoe freshener you would go for. And the final thing that you need is a pair of shoe trees so that after the cleaning process you can keep your shoes in the right shape. First of all remove the laces from the shoes. What I generally do is while I clean these shoes I will just dip these laces in a bowl that has a cleaner and water in the ratio of 30 is to 70. That means in a bowl of 100 ml I will pour 30 ml cleaner and 70 ml of water and I will leave it and let the cleaner do the magic of separating the dirt from the laces. By the time I clean the shoes half of my work here around cleaning the laces will be sorted. Then ideally start cleaning the outsole first. It's important to remove the dust or dirt from the outsole first. So initially we will not use a lot of cleaners. Instead we will use more water and a bit of cleaner. We aim to first remove the extra dust that is just laying over the surface of the shoes. Once that's done, use microfiber to wipe it off. Now is the time to use more cleaners and less water so that we aim to get the hard stains removed as much as possible. Then we move on to the sides of the outsole. It's also very important to see guys how I am holding the shoes. That will help you get a good grip on the shoes. This way you can clean all the sides of the shoes efficiently. Once you have cleaned the sides, wipe it off with the microfiber cloth again. 
Overall, a microfiber cloth is the most performing item in this whole scenario and an important one too. So as I said earlier in the video, make sure that you invest in a good microfiber cloth. I'm going to be very careful while scrubbing the brush on the upper and apply forces on those areas that are more dirty. I'll try to regularly use the cleaner and mix it with the softener. Now the softener has a very important part to play. The softener will make the upper of the shoes relaxed and the material will start responding to the cleaning process. Precisely, it will start leaving the dirt automatically. Once that begins, it will be easier for us to remove the dust. Again, using the microfiber cloth to wipe off the leftover dirt on the upper surface. Now using the same brush, we will wipe off the insoles as well. Also, it is suggestive to put your shoes under the sun for not more than 15 minutes. Since the sun rays are natural disinfectants, it will kill the germs and fungus within the shoes. But please be very specific that you don't do this very often. Doing this once in a month is a good practice. So now I will start cleaning the laces thoroughly and if required, I will use the brush to put a bit pressure on the laces to clean them well. Once they are done, I will squeeze away the water from them and put them to dry. After 15 minutes, it's time to put back the insoles and laces. Finally, let's spray some good perfume inside the shoes. And the ultimate step is to place the shoe tree within the shoes so that the shoes remain in good shape. Neat and clean pairs of sneakers in quick time. This is how you too can keep your sneakers clean by just following the do's and don'ts and smart tricks that I've shared with you in this video. I hope this will be of great help to you while you perform this activity. Also, you must check Footsteps profile on Instagram where you can find their amazing work on some of the most exclusive and popular sneakers. A lot of sneakerheads, athletes, and celebrities rely on footstep for their shoe care need. Also, it is highly suggestive to get your shoes cleaned by professionals once every two months if you use them regularly. Because what we do at home just can't be matched with what professionals do. They will clean your shoes thoroughly from inside and outside and will also disinfect it and that is very important to prolong the life of your shoes. Thank you so much guys for taking out time and watching this video till the end. Please share it with your friends also if you found this video really helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel before you go away. I'll see you very soon in our upcoming video.